Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day number 16. Yeah, 16 because there's nine more days. Nine more days. But look at what they did. Apparently my decorating wasn't enough. What they should have done is put up those, um, the little ornaments that I have with everybody's initials. See this? Look, can't even hold herself together enough to make it out that stocking, but looks like we have a little culprit over here. Mm -hmm. And then you got the box over here holding up the sign, I guess. Listen, they're really trying to send me a signal. <laughs> Still no gifts wrapped. Happy Friday, happy Vlogmas day number 16. 16! I think I already said that earlier, I don't remember, but just wanted to come on here and say good morning. I'm making my little cup of coffee here, if you're wondering what that noise is, and then gonna jump in to the next meeting and, well, my only meeting so far. I've been working on um, updating some calendars that I have to do on my other job. I'm like, on my other job, on my other position. <laughs> it's just been a bunch of back and forth this morning, but it's been good because I've been able to catch up on things. So um, right now I'm gonna jump into a quick one-on-one -on -one with my boss. And um, I was working in my room earlier. So now that I'm actually down here and the sun is out so I can feel the warmth from the sun, to get my coffee and jump into this meeting. Talk to y'all soon. All right, everyone. We are on our lunch walk. And uh, the bush shrubbery is still here. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see when it finally gets picked up. Yep, part, it's those little weeds that have those little pokey things at the end see like those and look there's the bush up front and personal all right just went past the the bush <laughs> um it's been a busy busier than expected day but a very productive one um just finished with some training um had a great meeting with my boss and then my coworker who's helping me, helping onboard me with, sorry, Minnie had a piece of shrub stuck in her coat, like her coat coat, not her skin coat. <laughs> so my coworker that's helping onboard me, um, her and I had a meeting to go over through, uh, over a process and it turned into a longer session that I don't mind, but I always feel bad because I don't want to take away from what she has to do or her day so um, but it all worked out it all worked out we actually discovered um, some good information that we needed for a different request we had gotten so through her training efforts and my um, lack of knowledge if you will it helped us kind of dig deeper and actually ended up finding um, some gaps and not in a bad way it was just you know one of those things that comes up and if we weren't looking for it probably wouldn't have gotten noticed eventually I'm sure it would have but it's it all worked out so so yay kudos to both of us um this angle by the way of me holding the camera like this I've been editing as you could tell I uploaded um videos through the day before yesterday through the 14th and my double chin y'all oh my god it's real and it's horrible because it's not that I haven't wanted to go to the gym just because I didn't feel like it. It's just literally, it's been that kind of a week. Like I thought last week was busy. This week has been even crazier. So, and a lot of that is just with after work hour stuff. So I'm gonna pretty much chop it up to next week. I'm just gonna enjoy myself 
And this is why I think a lot of people just resort to just forget it and focusing in the new year because um, there's so much going on with the holiday. It's like these little bugs. So I'm going to get her home. I left some, they're like these little Mexi wraps, they call them. They sell them in the frozen section. I left those in the oven while I took her on her quick little walk. I'm so hungry. I didn't get a chance to eat breakfast this morning because I was working in my room and I did drink my coffee, but I feel so thirsty because I haven't drunk water and I was in training and you don't want to be rude. Like, oh, I'm gonna be right back, you know? So I'm gonna enjoy my little Mexi wrap and then get back to work because I got to make some phone calls. I got to do a couple of, um, at work every year before the end of the year, we have to do like our, we have to rate each other depending on who selects you to rate them. And I have like two left and they're due, I think by next week, but I would like to get them done today if I can. Of course, work. The main priority is the day-to-day the -day work function so i'll get that done first make some calls and then hopefully i have some time at the end so that i can do my raiders and then the boys they had the min uh, minimum day two today because they had minimum day yesterday and today so they should be coming home soon as well so i made enough wraps for for all of us i think oh wait there's four of us and i think there was only three wraps Dang it. You know what? That's fine. I have leftovers. As a matter of fact, I think I still have lasagna in there from the other night. That sounds really good right now. So it won't go to waste. But I'll come back later. There's not much going on tonight, luckily. So I'll probably run to Costco. I've been craving this recipe. It's weird. It's not even a new thing. It's just something that I saw. Um, hold on. It's basically... Um, chicken taquitos like flautas kind of chicken taquitos with cheese inside so it's like chicken and cheese but not like shredded cheese like I usually make them but like with the like the Mexican cotija cheese and then dipped in sopa like I've made this before but the combo just looks so good and I was like you know what I can make that for dinner tomorrow because we already ate out yesterday for lunch and trying to do better even if I can't make to the gym every day I'm trying to do other little things I know sopa and tacos are probably not that healthy but at least I'm eating at home and not out if that makes sense so the chicken will be from Costco because it's the best and like the flavor is so good hopefully they have some this time if not that'll be my my sign of making something different but for now, that's going to be the plan. Some taquitos de gallina, de, or, perdón, gallito, oh wow, taquitos de pollo. We had this conversation at the breakfast last week. Taquitos de pollo con queso with a side of sopa. And then I will make time for some wrapping of gifts and then finish laundry and do the thing. So... I can't wait to woosah. What's up guys? It is 4.30 and I'm still working. I dropped off Janessa an hour ago, came back home and got right back to work. We have this new system going into place tomorrow and I wanted to make sure I downloaded all my, um, my, like my most recent resume, um, you know, like just make sure I have all my stuff saved. I'm at this point duplicating efforts because most of it is, but you just never know. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, I'm going to be heading to get Janessa here shortly and um, come back and make dinner. I'm going to swing by Costco to see if I can get some chicken because the there's rumor that the the chicken is not hasn't been stocked um I don't know why but I'm thinking it might be something with their machines and if so I'm gonna see if I can find out um but yeah 
There's this recipe, and I will try to video it. Um, but there's this recipe that I saw on the um, in on TikTok yesterday, and all it is. This is Fidel with flautas, the um, like little flautas, little taquitos, um, like chicken taquitos with the cheese. But I need to go get the cheese because I don't know that Costco. I think Costco only sells like the the regular casero cheese, but I want to get the one that's more like a. I think it's cotija. It's like a, a melty one, um, so I might have to swing by Walmart on the way home. But I'm most likely gonna have to come back and finish what I'm doing at work before I can move forward because there's these the Raiders that I was talking about earlier that I haven't finished so <sighs> busy 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 it doesn't end but to be fair like um it's been good a good busy it hasn't been like a stressful busy like Wednesday was a stressful busy that was like running around back and forth and you know like the the holiday party was nice but it was kind of like in the way of like getting my work done and so I kind of had to put things on hold and it's like you want to have fun with your team but at the same time sometimes it's just it just you can't ever plan certain things like when it comes to work so and for me being new and wanting to make sure that I'm upon, responding to people in time it was one of those things but <sighs> The week is almost over and I'd rather finish this and I'll have to come back to it on Monday, which is why, and I don't have any plans, which is why I don't mind sacrificing a little while if I have to, so, yeah. Hey guys, oh my goodness, I'm like rushing to get my kid because um, we had a five o'clock cutoff for our time to be entered and there was an error on my time card. Um, that my boss realized earlier in the week and we just got it figured out today and now when I went it, I was told it was fixed so when I went to go double check and um, the downside to our system which is probably part of the reason why we're upgrading it is that when you go into it even if you click out of the, the website it'll like 15 minutes later it'll still say like locked which makes no sense because you're like, but I'm locked, like I'm completely logged out. And so my boss is texting me. She's like, I still can't get in. I still can't get in. Like it's still locked. It still shows locked. And I'm like, what is going on? And um, it's already like 5.01 and one, I got to get my kid by five and two. I think there's a deadline. And so like at this point, I'm probably going to be short a day on my paycheck. I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully there's some kind of wiggle room but five o'clock was the deadline so I don't know if it was like a deadline deadline or it just needed to be done by that time so we shall see but um so I'm here to get my kid it doesn't look like she's walking yet I was thinking she was going to be down the street already with me being tardy but thankfully that's not the case I got here and she hasn't even got like they haven't even gotten let out of the little multi-purpose room area so luckily i got here in time um after this we're gonna jam over to costco and see if we can find a chicken and then after that gonna run by walmart so i can get some um uh, some of that cheese i was talking about i know she's been asking about her football i mean not football excuse me basketball and then um, I'm gonna see if I can get some more tape and tags so that way I can be fully prepared to wrap gifts tonight. So I'm excited to be able to do that. Is she coming yet? Not yet. All right, we'll be back. So Costco didn't have any of their pre-made chickens and they did have a sign that says they are out of chicken at this time. It didn't say why or how long or anything. So I found, I've always seen this one. 
and it's hand pulled rotisserie chicken breast meat. So my assumption is that it's basically meat from the chickens. It was like triple the price of one because normally it's like five bucks, I think, for a rotisserie at Costco. And this was like 17 bucks, but it's, I mean, two full pounds. So it's plenty of, of meat and I could save it. Well, I don't know for how long because that January 1st, I'd have to eat it within the next two weeks, but we're going to try that. I'm going to try that. And then as far as the cheese, I didn't have any luck at Walmart either because it was just a regular Walmart. It wasn't the grocery one that I usually go to. So I just ended up getting a little mozzarella, bless you, mozzarella sticks. And I'm going to um, slice those up and put in the tortilla and just let it. Because I think the cheese is similar to that of mozzarella. Not the same, but similar. So we'll see. But I am super hungry, and I had one last thing that I wanted to finish with work, and that was schedule a meeting. Huh? No, she, she was smelling my back. And I could do it Monday, but I'd rather get it done. So I'm going to do that real quick and get started. Y'all, I was coming upstairs to check the laundry, and I noticed that the dog was playing with something. Well, look at what she did. And I know exactly how she got her, because I know she hadn't fallen well, I guess she must have climbed up the stairs halfway and snatched her off the stairs. My daughter's not going to be happy. She's definitely on a timeout. The dog is, that is. <sighs> so disappointing. These dogs can't have anything. Can't ever have nice things. R.I.P. Boxy. Here's dinner. There's some sofita. And that chicken that I got from Costco is the perfect alternative. It is more expensive because it's already pretty shredded, but oh my god, it's so delicious. I put a little bit of the mozzarella in there and it melts it to the trip. Side for dinner. Okay, so instead of cheese, I put sour cream and I am ready to dig in. What's up guys? I think it is time for my 12 days of coffee. Janessa's not down here. She's upstairs um, gaming with one of her friends on the computer, but we both have the caramel flavor. She has the caramel hot chocolate. I have the caramel coffee. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually in the middle of vlogging and I started falling asleep and I'm going to do my best in uploading today's tonight so that I can actually be back on track and up to date. I'm so happy it's Friday. Um, and I want to make sure not to get it confused that I'm not happy in my job. I've just been very busy and it's been a very busy week. This one's a little more together Hello. I don't know how I feel about this so if I paused it's because it's looking a little sussy a little sus a little suspicious um I know it's caramel, but I also have never seen it clump like that. And I don't know how I feel about it. That's suspicious. That's weird. This is what it looks inside. You know, sometimes when things get old, like I remember Growing up, my mom would always tell me, like, if anything clumps like that, it could be that it's old and there might be little maggots inside. And although it looks like there, it doesn't look like there are any, I don't know how I feel about it. So I think I'm going to pass on today's. None of my other ones have looked like that so far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass. I think I'm just going to get 
I think I'm just going to get regular hot chocolate. <laughs> but the thought was there. Caramel coffee. And it could just be, like I said, very well could be that it's the caramel. But I don't want to take a chance. And it's still good until January, but you just never know. Or through next year, I think, the expiration dates. You just never know. And I opt to protect my belly, so don't judge me. Okay, so let's try this again, but with my Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Now that's what I'm talking about. See how it's all fine and not clumpy? Because the other one was looking like that suspicious. <laughs> All right, you guys, cheers. Hot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cl close out the Vlogmas here, hoping to actually get everything edited and uploaded tonight so I could be all caught up. And then hopefully before bed, I can get some dishes or some dishes. And hopefully before bed, I can get some gifts wrapped. But without further ado, let's go ahead and close it down. Have a wonderful night. It's the end of the week and on to Christmas week we go and look how greasy I am I'm telling you by the end of the night I'm done all right good night all